Now that we have our artwork done from last week and all of our background is done on each of our sections in the letters, we're going to need a tray of watercolors, a paintbrush, and you're going to see that the tip is nice and pointy, and this is called the ferrule. The ferrule is the area that you don't want to get paint on, and then of course we have the handle. But make sure this metal area doesn't get dirty with paint. You also need a cup of water, and we're going to go into our colors. And when we go into our color, we want to make sure that we choose a color that um, isn't the color of the crayon. So in this case, I'm taking yellow over blue. And one of the things that you're going to notice is that I'm not pressing down hard where the bristles spread out. This is not good for a paintbrush, and it won't help you for paint. So you want to make sure that when you have your paint on the tip of your brush, you're going over it lightly as if you were just on your tippy toes and um, gliding across the floor. It's the same with painting. You want to just glide across your page. Now we're going to continue to keep adding color on all of the different sections and you want to make sure that the colors don't match. So you would never want to put red with red or yellow with yellow. We always want to choose a different color for the background and again make sure that you're not getting paint in that feral area. So as we continue to color this in, we are going to see that our image that we drew from last week is actually popping out from the background. And the more it dries, the more it's going to shine through. Now if you ever run across a color that is dirty in the um, paint palette, you can always clean off your brush and add some water to that color. So you can see here that my orange is pretty dirty. So I'm going to add some water, wipe off my brush, and you can see how dirty that is. We're going to add some more water, wipe off our brush again, and then I'm going to take this towel and I'm going to press down on that color, and it's going to pick up all that dirty color that's in there. This is the best way to clean your watercolor palette. And I'm going to do it one more time, and now I've got a bright, beautiful orange, and it's ready to use. So go ahead and continue painting on your drawing and making each section a different color. Good luck and have fun. Now that we're finishing up the last little bit, we're going to go ahead and let our picture dry and it's going to look beautiful.